Hi guys, this is Moni again from BTE Magic and today I'm back with another video which will be an analysis of one of our very interesting cases of a student who only got 18 for his pronunciation but achieved 79 in speaking and he actually not only aced the speaking part but he also got 79 plus for all other three modules Let's firstly have a look at his score report So this is probably one of the most fascinating cases that we have encountered uh, considering the fact that so many students are struggling and losing hope because of the low score in the pronunciation uh, leading to uh, the fact that they can't get a high score in um, speaking. There's no doubt that pronunciation plays a significant role when it comes to evaluating your English speaking. However, looking at this real example, uh, we can also say that, you know, even without pronunciation, you can also find other ways to get a high score in speaking. In fact, Narendra didn't get this score from the first time. He actually attempted the test nine times. Yeah, nine times. All his hard work has paid off and he's currently on the way to get his permanent residency in Australia. In order to analyze his scores better, we have actually asked him to complete a mock test um, on the Pearson's website on pitepractice.com and he has also recorded his actual performance during the mock test which I'll be showing you today. However, before you get started, if you're not my subscriber and are preparing for PTE, then please uh, click the subscribe button below. The course includes an extensive unit on climate change and requires all students to read the stern review on the economics of climate change, which was published last year. The course delves into the science behind the issue, the challenges it poses to business and government, as well as a discussion on possible solutions. The course includes an extensive unit on climate change and requires all students to read the stern review on the economics of climate change, which was published last year. The course delves into the science behind the issue, the challenges it poses to business and government, as well as a discussion on possible solutions. In the fast changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physicians practices don't just need to know medicine. They must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. In the fast changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physicians practices don't just need to know medicine. They must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations. Mm. Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing acid drainage and sediment. 
metals and metal like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations In recent years, there have been one or two significant happenings that have kept alive the hope that the deep sea may conceal strange links with the past. In December 1938, off the southeast tip of Africa, an amazing fish was caught alive, a fish that was supposed to have been dead for at least 60 million years. In recent years, there have been one or two significant happenings that have kept alive the hope that the deep sea may conceal strange links with the past. In December 1938, off the southeast tip of Africa, an amazing fish was caught alive, a fish that was supposed to have been dead for at least 60 million years. In multilingual countries, code mixing, the use of more than one variety in the same utterance or sentence, and code switching, the use of different languages or varieties between sentences, is common and natural. Despite its frequency, or perhaps because of it, some scholars and self-appointed guardians of linguistic morality view both code mixing and code switching as a sign of linguistic deficiency. Linguistic morality, code mixing, code switching, linguistic deficiency. In multilingual countries, code mixing, the use of more than one variety in the same utterance or sentence, and code switching, the use of different languages or varieties between sentences, is common and natural. Despite its frequency, or perhaps because of it, some scholars and self-appointed guardians of linguistic morality view both code mixing and code switching as a sign of linguistic deficiency. In this landmark account, first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and lethargy of the poor are the direct result of the whole situation of economic, social, and political domination. By being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible, the disadvantaged are kept submerged. Disadvantaged, submerged, critical awareness. In this landmark account, first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and lethargy of the poor are the direct result of the whole situation of economic, social, and political domination. By being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible, the disadvantaged are kept submerged. Students must observe lab safety regulations at all times. Students must observe lab safety regulations at all times. It's the words of common occurrence that have different referential value. It's the words of common occurrence that have different referential values. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. Student services provide help with housing and transport. Student services provide help with housing and transport. A study skills seminar is on for students who require assistance. A study skills seminar is on for students who require assistance. Any textual references you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. Any textual references you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes.
the research paper should begin with a thorough review of the literature. The research paper should begin with the thorough review of the literature. The aesthetic implications of this study have not yet been fully explored. The aesthetic implications of this study have not yet been fully explored. The inherent tension between these two features remains to be addressed. The inherent tension between these two features remains to be addressed. Journalism is the collection or publication or transmission of the news. The given image represents bar graph on largest cities worldwide. It provides information on various categories such as 1950, 2000 and 2015. The maximum values goes to Tokyo followed by Mumbai and Delhi. Also from this image we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations appear to be superficial. The given image represents Bargar of one largest cities worldwide. It provides information on various categories such as year 1950, 2000 and 2015. The maximum values goes to 2000 at Tokyo while the least value is of Delhi. Also from this image we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations of the bar graph appear to be superficial. In conclusion the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all sufficient data. The given image represents line graph on kilocalories per day. It provides information from various categories such as North America, Europe and Central Asia, world and Africa. The maximum values. The given image represents line graph on kilocalories per day starting from 1975 to 1995. It provides information on various categories such as North America, Europe and Central Asia, World and Africa. The maximum values goes to world while the least value is of Africa. Also from this image we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations of kilocalories per day appear to be superficial. In conclusion, the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all sufficient data. The given image, the given image represents injury location pie chart. It provides information on various categories such as home, work, roads, others, school, childcare, laser and sports. The maximum values goes to home at 41.41%. The given image represents pie chart on injury location. It provides information on various categories such as home, work, roads, others, school, childcare, leisure and sports. The maximum values goes to home at 41.4% while the least value is of others at 2%. Also from this image we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations of injury location graph appear to be superficial. In conclusion, the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all sufficient data. The given image represents population growth and projected population of Sydney graph starting from 1976 to 2031. It provides information on various categories such as 1976 census, 2001 census and 2031 projected. The given image represents line graph on population pro growth and population projected of Sydney starting from 1976 to 2031. It provides information on various categories such as 1976 census, 2001 census and 2031 projected. According to graph, the maximum values goes to 2031 projected at 5.3 million, while the least value is of 1976 at 3 million. Also from this image, we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations appear to be superficial. In conclusion, the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all sufficient data.
the given image represents graph on world's tallest buildings it provides information on various categories such as taipei 101 in taipei petronas towers 1 and 2 in kuala lumpur and cs towers in chicago the given image represents graph on world's tallest building it provides information on various categories such as taipei 101 in taipei petronas towers 1 and 2 in kuala lumpur and cs towers in chicago according to graph the maximum values goes to taipei 101 at 1670 feet while the least value is of cs towers at 1450 feet also from this image we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations of the graph appear to be superficial in conclusion the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all sufficient data the given image represents line graph on manufacturing output in the uk starting from 1999 to 2007 it provides information on various categories such as percentage and year according to graph the maximum values goes to 2001 at 104 percent while the least value is between 2000 and 2003 The given image represents line graph on manufacturing output in the UK starting from 1999 to 2007. It provides information on various categories such as percentage and year. Also from this image we can see that the trend is popular one and the complexities involved in the calculations of maximum and minimum values appear to be superficial. The maximum values is in 2001 year at 104% while the least value is in 2003 at 96%. In conclusion, the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all sufficient data. Milk is not typical of all monasteries for many reasons. First, it is very grand, which most, especially later foundations, aren't. Secondly, it was founded in the countryside, whereas in the 17th and 18th centuries, a good proportion of foundations were made in towns. Thirdly, it still owns a substantial amount of land, because fourthly, it lies in the Austrian Republic, the only European country where grand old monasteries have been in continuous existence since they were founded, 900, 1,000, even in one case, 1,200 years ago. The lecture gives important key points and relevant data about Milk Ministry of Austria, in the beginning, the speaker talked about it is very grand and found in countryside. Later on, the speaker mentioned it still owns substantial amount of land. After that, the speaker described lies in Austrian Republic. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that these monasteries were founded from 1900 to 1200 years ago. In conclusion, the speaker gave a lot of relevant data about Milk Monastery of Austria. Corruption comes at a, a huge economic and social cost, and that cost is felt most acutely by the world's poor. Dr. Arnold has already given the staggering figure of $1 trillion US uh, that's paid in bribes worldwide. It is an extraordinary figure. It's a figure that equals 10 times what is paid each year by donors in international development assistance, 10 times development assistance. And even this huge amount, $1 trillion, could be an underestimate because it's very difficult to capture uh, a number of the more elusive transactions within the public sector that involve corrupt dealings, such as budget leakages and, uh, and asset theft. Corruption sharpens income inequality and it impacts disproportionately on the poor. In many countries, corruption works as a, as a regressive tax on household incomes, regressive because it impacts much more on the poor than the uh, more wealthy. Compared with higher income groups, lower income families pay a much larger share of their incomes in bribes to access basic public services and their overall access to those services is reduced.
the lecture gives important key points and relevant data about corruption comes as huge economic and social cost and that cost is felt by world's poor in the beginning the speaker talked about staggering figure of 1 trillion dollars that's paid in bribe worldwide later on the speaker mentions figures that is 10 times paid by donors in development after that the speaker described elusive transactions within the public sector here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that income inequality and impacts poor and tax on household income in conclusion the speaker gave a lot of relevant data about corruption versus development aid This is Hans Krebs, who in 1937 published a paper showing the sequence of chemical reactions by which energy is released in individual cells. Um, it's called the Krebs cycle, which some of you may remember from your chemistry course in high school. Krebs is a wonderful example to me of how a scientist who is determined can overcome all kinds of human obstacles. Krebs' father constantly discouraged him and told him that he had just mediocre intelligence and would never do anything important in his life as a teenager. Uh, what Krebs remembers in his memoir, his father said to him, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And later on, when Krebs studied with the great biochemist Otto Warburg, Warburg also told him the same thing um, not saying quotes, but that he had only mediocre ability and would never be a great scientist. And we all hear about how important it is for parents to encourage their children, but sometimes the children will go on to do great things no matter what we say to them. The lecture gives important key points and relevant data about hand scraps and sequence of chemical reaction. In the beginning, the speaker talked about energy is released and scraps cycle. Later on, the speaker mentions scientist who is determined and human obstacle. Here, after that, the speaker mentioned Krebs studied with professor and biochemist and only mediocre ability. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that children go on to do great things no matter what parents say. In conclusion, the speaker gave a lot of relevant data about hand scraps and Krebs cycle. To which of our senses do all of the following words relate? Opaque, vivid, brilliant, shiny. Sight, seeing. In a recession, does economic activity increase, slow down, or stay the same? Slow down. Beneficial. Would a person suffering problems with their vision consult a biologist or an optometrist? An optometrist. In a fridge. Historians use evidence to draw conclusions about the past. Would a contemporary artist's painting of an ancient battle be an original source or a secondary source? Secondary source. What is the subject of study at a culinary institute? Cooking. Where would you expect to find equipment like microscopes, Bunsen burners, beakers, and petri dishes? In a laboratory.
psychology a telescope So after Narendra's mock test, we have came to conclusion that he did really well in uh, maintaining fluency and also he improved his content in described image because before that the content was not uh, sufficient to cover all the keywords and the important content uh, from the images. And he also did pretty well uh, in the repeat sentence section as well as retail lecture because his listening skills were always pretty good. Another thing that you probably will notice is his pitch. The pitch that Narendra is using is not actually his real voice. So the change of pitch uh, is definitely one of the key that helped him to score 79 in speaking. Uh, so in this mock test, he actually did better. So he got 33 pronunciation, uh, 90 fluency and uh, 83 for speaking and as I said I always believe that learning from others especially from those who succeeded in the test is the best way as Narendra did it nine times of course he fell down sometimes and wanted to give up but he continued finding the ways uh, to change uh, his approach and eventually got his target score so I believe that we all can do the same and please continue to work on your speaking to work on all your weaknesses and believe in yourself do not give up and you will eventually get there so good luck with your test and i'll see you next time bye guys